Hi everybody, welcome to my art journal painting. Today I'm having a scene of Northern Lights. And uh, since this is the last week of uh, January that I'm painting this, it's my last painting for acrylics for a while. So I had some uh, mixing white and uh, this tallow green on my palette from another painting, so I just used it as the first layer of what's gonna be a lake or an ocean part in my painting. The rest of the painting, or most of the rest, will be done with spray acrylics and um, I use those to achieve a very smooth um, layer by layer by layer. Uh, of the sky with the northern lights. Now inspired uh, or the, the inspiration for this painting was actually a song that I heard. Uh, it's on my inspirational music playlist and it's by 30 seconds to Mars and it's called Northern Lights and I thought wow I haven't painted a night sky with that ever. I've only painted space with nebula and stuff but not um, Northern Lights, so I took that and uh, decided to make a page with it. Now for the sky I took black and dark blue and uh, for the lake I overlaid another um, tiny bit of phthalo green or dark green. Now with this, um, I don't know, this brochure here I'm just uh, trying to shape the Northern Lights with light green and a cool red to have two different colors and I'm sorry that my head is in the way but I had to be quite uh, near to the painting in a 90, 90 degree angle so that I could actually see where I spray. Uh, then I took a bit of white to, just to have um, highlights or lighter sections uh, be in there and then I'm just layering the light green and the magenta and the dark blue uh, on top of each other until my sky is uh, in a way that I like it. It took me a while to well accomplish that but I do have a rather small surface and big cans of spray paint so I had to layer quite a bit to um, make it work. But it's not really difficult, you just have to be patient and just trust that you can layer the spray paints and that you can always quote-unquote repair if you have a mistake there. Uh, I'm very very happy how the paper handled all of that um, spray liquid, it didn't buckle and uh, that was very nice so I like my new journal for this year with the mixed media paper it can hold quite a lot of uh, liquid and also weight. Now I had a bit too much of the black down there so I just dabbed it away with my uh, paper towel and then I just uh, swooshed over the whole thing just to even things out and it actually worked nicely to have uh, tiny ripples of um, or in in the water down there. It was not intended but again when you repair you can also well just have nice effects. So once I had uh, my spray paint laid down I uh, just closed all of my cans and waited for that layer to dry. It takes quite a while. Um, if you dry air dry it it takes maybe 40 minutes but I used my blow dryer to speed things up because I'm not really that patient <laughs> when it comes to drying off things. That's why I usually don't paint in oils because, yeah, impatient artist. Um, so, yeah, I really like how the background or the page looks so far. Uh, it's very smooth, it's not those harsh lines that you sometimes have with Northern Lights, but it's more like um, a soft way of the Northern Lights being, well, depicted, I, I think. So here's the blow dryer, here it comes and it took me 20 minutes to dry off the whole page. Uh, by the way, uh, the whole painting except for the drying process, it took me 30 minutes, so it was um, 
a bit of a quicker page here, but I didn't mind because I had a lot of other paintings to do that day and I just wanted to have this piece done. Uh, you can, by the way, see close-up photos and have a list of the materials used, just as a reminder, uh, on my blog post, uh, on my webpage. They, there's always a direct link to the specific blog post on my uh, on my Facebook page, but if you just hop to my webpage, I do have the link of that in the description box below. You can also find it just by scrolling down a bit, depending on when you watch this. Uh, this video, it will be rather on the recent part of uh, my my webpage or maybe not if you see it sometime in the future. So after I had this page dried, I had to wait quite a bit to cool it down. That's the downside of using um, a blow dryer with uh, spray paints because of course you heat up the page a bit it gets a bit gooey but when you cool it down to room temperature that uh, goes away as well so with a bit of mixing white and a lot of water I uh, had a few stars be on the sky and I again swooshed just with my paper towel across the lake so it, it enhances the ripples in the water, but I didn't want to have reflection of stars on my page. And then I took some black and mixing white to just paint a tiny boat that is sitting on this lake or ocean, whatever you see there. I see a lake. Um, gave it a bit of a shadow and then I just had to sign my date and that's that. That was the painting for today. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or other comments, leave them in the comment section below. I would very much appreciate that. And I will see you next Monday with a new art journal. If I remember correctly, it will be colored pencils next month. So have fun, enjoy and uh, have a lovely, lovely day. Maybe you got time to create something as well. I would love that. So. Take good care and I'll see you. Bye.